Okay, so we'll start off here in my Mario castle that I built. <coughs> I haven't really put much into it, but it's just the beginning. I get too many projects going once, and go upstairs. And as you can see, it's quite empty. Just a base structure so far. Something to work with, just kind of gathering ideas and playing around. Still a little new to Minecraft. So, this was one of the first buildings I built. I tried to base it off of uh, one of the castles from like uh, Mario 1 from the original Nintendo. But it just kind of escalated to be bigger than I expected. And I like it though, it turned out pretty good. The lava flowing around. And then up here we got the uh, I hear question mark box with mushroom coming out of the top of it. That was a fun project to get to work on together. Uh, same with the mushroom. He really helped me out on designing that. Didn't get that to turn out 3D, which I think turned out phenomenal. Considering that we weren't sure how we were going to do it or how to go from it. It's just kind of winged it. I really like the way it turned out. And then uh, just playing around with weekends. I tried to do a Volkswagen symbol, it didn't turn out too well, but we'll play around more with that later. Uh, let's see here. Rainbow beacons. Messing around trying to figure out how to impose it work. Uh, another little piece, just see how things turn out between night and day. See how they look. My son built this little X beacon here. Black and yellow. We work on a few things together if possible. We have another world on another iMac that we play with. Um, let's see. We have a big dot and earth from Aqua Teen Power Teen Hunger Force. Hmm. One of mine and the kids' favorite shows. So I figured that was one of the first things I made after making this castle. This castle is the first building that I built on this world. I wanted to build it over the river, so when there's fish and squid and whatnot swimming in the river, um, they go right underneath the house, which works pretty good. Um, built the first the floor out of glass block, and then put the beacons in different light, because I didn't know about any other type of lighting at first. That's why there's so many beacons in here. It's neat, because you can see the squid and stuff through the floor. Little glass room, book caps, bookshelves. Back behind the bookshelves, kind of a hidden stairway, not really, but it's there. Go upstairs to the second floor. I said this is my first building, which kind of a base unit. Uh, definitely needs more put into it yet. Now that I know a bit more about the game, I can start uh, designing and making it a little better. Uh, down here we have my light sensor with my command block that constantly keeps it day whenever there's. Whenever nighttime comes or it sets it's dark, it automatically switches it to day. I have another one around here that clears the weather too, and I don't know where to put it at the moment. Um, so it's always day and always clear. I use some to come out of Let's see, over here I have Mario that I built. And I think that turned out pretty good too. Um, I like the fact that it's a little bit 3D. Um, Playing around and stuff, just trying to see. Uh, I've got a picture of it. Locked it out. Some more pyramids and beacons. I said I was playing around with them as soon as I learned how to make them. And this is my latest, this pyramid. I haven't gotten the sides completely done and come down to the ground yet, but um, so far, this is what I got. Red carpet coming in. Thank you. As you walk in, it gets a little dark side. Um, they all out of cobblestone just so it kind of matches and such. You get this pressure plate the lights turn on but then it also locks you in so uh, once you enter you need to figure out the way to get out. Uh, it's a small pyramid so it's not too difficult at the moment. I plan on building a larger one a bigger scale to uh, put more fun little uh, mazes in it. Mysterious mysteries. Oh, uh, I have a cobblestone wall and around the wall, I have a chest and 
last touch of uh, redstone lantern or just for the light. I mean, that would be kind of neat. They said just playing around and getting more and more ideas together and trying things to see how far a bedroom like to have. And then in here in this room, we have a crafting table and a chest down here. It's just very dark. I'm going to torch up quick. Just keep that lit in here so it's light in this room. I didn't do the floor out of lanterns. Alright, well, let's see what else. Alright, so now, walking out. Hold on. Let's see here. All of them. Yeah. Alright, so there's that pressure plate. You walk to here, you step on it. No, we're still not open here. It's the other one to open the door. You step on that, the lights turn off. Here, don't step on that block, otherwise you're locked in. As you can see, the door is open, so we go straight ahead, slam, nope, and you're not getting through there. So you yeah, come back over here, turn the lights out, move around the corner and stay the far left as possible, walk around the pressure <coughs> the and then you can get out. I said I plan on building a bigger pyramid a lot more interesting things to happen inside. Uh, piston blocks are definitely something I enjoy playing with. And that's all I've got so far.